Wait, Jean-Luc Picard is an android? What is Eremotic Syndrome? If you've forgotten the details of Star Trek Picard's first season, or maybe you didn't watch it at all, you may be wondering what in the world is going on with all these references to Admiral Picard being positronic. Well, he's actually an android, a synthetic being. Here's how that happened and why it might matter. At the end of Star Trek The Next Generation, in the episode All Good Things, Jean-Luc Picard is diagnosed with Eremotic Syndrome. It's a degenerative condition with no cure located in his parietal lobe. Eremotic Syndrome causes degradation of brain pathways. That means while people can live with it for years without seeing any ill effects, when it finally hits, the symptoms are brutal. We're talking hallucinations, delusions, and eventually death. The disease plays a big role in Next Gen series finale, but then it rears its ugly head again at the beginning of Star Trek Picard's first season. Jean-Luc tries to get cleared for off-world travel, but the doctor, an old friend, informs him that there is something happening with his parietal lobe. It's referred to thereafter as a brain anomaly, but it's clear that we're talking about Eremotic Syndrome. Jean-Luc's time is running short. And it all catches up with him in the end. Jean-Luc dies after saving the android colony from the forces of the Zatvash. His brain basically short circuits. But his friends and colleagues are able to save him. They transfer his consciousness into a synthetic body. Alton Inigo Sung, son of Noonien Sung, the creator of Commander Data, was building a synthetic body for himself to preserve his consciousness after death. He gives the body to Admiral Picard instead. When Picard opens his eyes, his eremotic syndrome is gone. He's in a new body that looks identical to the old one. He won't live forever. The android body does have an aging program and he will die naturally in a decade or two. For more on Sung type androids, watch my video on Data, Lore, and B4. Now, the question is, why is this constantly being mentioned in Star Trek Picard? Well, part of it is because apparently Jean-Luc has passed Eremotic Syndrome onto his son, Jack. He knows that this is the disease that eventually killed him. Now his son has to grapple with that death sentence as well. But it feels like there's more going on here than that. After episode six of Star Trek Picard, we know that the Changeling stole Jean-Luc Picard's body from the Daystrom Institute. And we know that Jack Crusher is what they want. With the revelations in episode seven, we know now that they're specifically interested in Picard's Eremotic Syndrome. If you need to know more about the changelings, I've got a video for that as well. Regardless of what's happening, this season of Star Trek Picard is amazing, and I'm really looking forward to seeing where we go next.